All right, we're gonna take a derivative sine of four t on the power of fifth. So let's do it. First, we're gonna rewrite it a little bit. You're gonna put this whole thing sine of four t to the fifth. All we did, we moved the fifth power from here to here. Now we can recognize it better that we simply gonna use the chain rule and the power rule. So let's get started. Derivative of y will be we'll take the derivative of the outside, so five comes here times whatever was on the inside stays unchanged. Sine of four t. There you go. And n minus 1 from the power rule, it will be a 4 over here. Now, using the chain rule, second part, take a derivative of the inside here. But in order to take a derivative of it, this one, we're going to have to use the chain rule again. So, we are in this example, we're using the chain rule twice. So, let's take a derivative of sine of 4t. Derivative of sine will be cosine, and the inside we leave it unchanged. And now, to follow the chain rule, we're going to take the derivative of the inside, of which is 4t, and that would be just 4. And there you go. Let's rewrite it in a prettier form. 20 times sine, let's bring this back in, to the power of 4, of 4t, four times cosine of 4t. There you go, that is the answer.